Okay, that should be working. It's like, what is. Aw, oh, come on. Ah. Uh. All right, apologies, sudden call from Doll. had to do the thing. Anyway, hello! Oof. I, uh, oof, I want to stick to the schedule, and while I did get the update that I am going to have to stream on the two-hour limit, oof, because I got to help with the packing and stuff, uh, because I'm not really doing much else, I figured, you know what, why not? We will continue doing the stuff, family's okay with it, I got time. So, once again... No bro force, but we do get to go back to the civics. That's right. We are doing actual Fourth of July type stuff. Also, some stuff didn't pan out. Like one sec, let me let me explain my poor planning. Let me uh where is it? It should be right here. Yeah, 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 that's a thing. That, that that's a mess up on my part. I apologize. Also, uh I will address it. The portraits, they are they are the thing I was asking about in the Discord. BBT, zombie, I very much appreciate it. I should have been more clear. That's my fault. I'm sorry. Very sorry. That was my mistake. But yes, we needed presidents to display. And I think we got a decent selection. Each one of them, a unique president in their own right. If you have any questions about number four, it's a reference to a thing. Anyway, today, the goal is simple. Is civics, and then later, maybe... U.S. citizenship test, just because why not? That sounds like fun. I, I, I talk about how much I love the country, I might as well put myself to the test, see how well I actually do. But yeah, other than that, well first I gotta make sure this thing is working. Yeah, it is. Okay. Good to see. Make sure that's working. Yeah. Okay. With that, we swiftly move along to the world of civics. But, but. And there we are. Okay, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oof. Important question, though. What are we going to do? If I remember correctly, we've already done a number of these. I know at the very least we've done the People's Pie. We've done... Hmm. We've done Convene the Council. We've done Branches of Power. Haven't done Argument Wars. What, did we do executive command? We did a few others. We did a few others. I don't fully remember which ones. But regardless, it is time for the civics. And we will start with, hmm. You know what, we will start with, do I have the right? We must, draw, we must run a law firm and test our knowledge of the constitutional rights. That sounds up our alley. Here we go. Let's give it a shot. Let's see if we are up to snuff with the law. And yes, this will allow you to harshly criticize me on if I actually know my stuff. No, no, thank you. I'm just doing this for this. Hold on one sec. Is this... Yeah, it's going, it's going. Alright, cool. Alright, let's begin the law. Wait, full edition or what's this? Client cases in this game are about rights that can be found on a variety of amendments versus only the first ten. That sounds like an easier mode. We're gonna do full edition. Let's go. Alright, let's see. Go ready to start running a law firm. I gotta look my best. Who can I look like? No, no, can I get my old can I get my old guy? There we are, there we are. Ah, oh, you gotta love this man. 
He's perfect. Can I get my suit? Can I get my suit? Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Oh, we don't got anything else. Let's go. All right. Actually, it's more so. More so like that. Doesn't match with Persona, but you know what? That's Persona's fault. Continue. Let's finish up by picking a partner lawyer. Mmm. Let's see. Sally Forth. Mmm. This child Sally was no good in hide and seek. Uh, as an adult, she's opposed to. She's opposed to searches of all sorts. Wait, what? <laughs> Uh, I don't know about that. Fourth will. Uh, fourth is skilled in cases about the Fourth Amendment. No unreasonable searches. Fourth will help the clients whose case deal with illegal government searches. Okay. And who are you? Chuck Free Press. Former newspaper editor, Chuck will... Uh, he went back to law school to learn about the freedom of the speech protections. He is kind of a loudmouth, but he knows his stuff. Hmm. I see. Free Press will help with clients who have been denied the ability to express themselves. Ooh, okay. Interesting choices, interesting choices. Hmm. Ch Sally or Chuck? Hmm. Honestly, from their cards, it tells me Sally was no good at hide and seek, but now she opposes them. That's pretty good for her, I fully understand. The searches and stuff are pretty important, however, Chuck Free Press, number one, it tells him he was a former newspaper editor, so he has experience there. He went back to law school, so he made the choice to go back, that's a good, that's a good show for him. And then, it also says he's a loudmouth, but he knows his stuff. As opposed to this, this doesn't tell me anything about if she's good at her job or not. This does tell me Chuck does know his stuff. And also, the First Amendment is very important. This one's also pretty important, but it's the First Amendment for a reason. Out of the two, I... Hmm. I'm gonna take Chuck. I'm gonna take Chuck. He sounds he sounds like a good man. He, he looks like the guy I need. That's right, it's Product and Free Press. Let's go. Oh my goodness. People. It's our grand opening, everybody. And to make our opening as grand as possible, We'll be taking on cases for free for our first seven days. Yes, free! Wait, Chuck, Chuck, what are you doing? <laughs> Ch Chuck, we need to make the money. <laughs> right, Tell thank anyone who needs help defending their rights. We're officially open for business. Th thank you, Chuck. I'm sure that's gonna get traffic in. But we have, we have bills to pay, man. We can't avoid tax, like, forever, okay? <laughs> Since we're just getting started, would you like me to show you how to do things around here? Ooh, do I wing it or do I just go? Ooh. Do I get help or do I... Ooh. All right, tell me. This is our new law firm. Clients come to us so we can protect their rights, as yes. found in the amendments to the U.S. Constitution. Very important. No. A right is something that a person is legally allowed to have, get, or do. Mm-hmm. That it? Ooh, okay. our first client. Now we're in business. Go over there and find out if that client has a case. All right, hello. I run a website that critiques celebrities' movie choices. Hmm. Some of them are really bad. I got an email that said if I didn't erase the website, I would be arrested. Do I have a right to blog? Yeah, that's 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 the easiest one. Yes, you have the right to blog. <laughs> Yes, we have Ch we have Chuck now who can help you. Now the client is following you. Bring the client to a lawyer who is skilled in the right that matches the client's case. Someone like yours truly. Thank you, Chuck. Let's go. Wait, one, one, fifteen, and nineteen. Wait, why do you have one twice? All right, whatever. Match them. All right, partner. Now I'm going to consult with this client for a bit and learn the details of the case. I'll let you know when I'm ready for trial. 
I'm Her rocking, oh, rolling, okay. and ready for trial. Come on over and send us to court. won the case, thanks to my stunning performance. Successfully completing cases will earn prestige for our law firm. Oh my goodness, Chuck. I'm so happy I picked you. You're amazing. Prestige will help us make a name for ourselves in the community and expand our firm with more lawyers and a nicer office so we can help even more clients. What's wrong with the office? You, you got your wood, you got your carpet. What, what else do you need? You got all your books. What, what's wrong with the office, Chuck? Come on, man. I want to be an actor in the movies, but I can't get an audition. I think it's unfair that I'm not a movie star when other people my age are. Do I have a right to be a star? No. Aww. Closing time. New clients will stop arriving now, but we should still help anyone who came in before the doors closed. All right. Well, no one did. <laughs> That was quite a first day. Oh, and guess what? I've been studying between cases, and I've learned how to defend a new right. Okay, cool. That's fantastic, man. All right, that's why it's one and one. Oh no, what, what's going on? All right, let's see. Uh, great justice, really great law firm, me and hiring great lawyers. Luckily, this is a very, at this very moment, uh, Norton and Lowe research lawyers. Our lawyers are oh no, we got competing law firms. Oh no, what do we do? All right, new firm open underscore product in free press. Hang a name for itself in a big way. Founded by a faulty product, a rookie lawyer, fresh out of law school. Plenty firms only shown that it's not afraid to take on tough cases. We took one case that was. <laughs> this isn't a tough case. <laughs> we took a case and rejected another case. <laughs> I think they stay. Oh man! Oh man, okay. We got some slander in competition. With the prestige we've earned, we can upgrade our law firm. I recommend hiring new lawyers when possible so we can cover even more rights. That is a fair point, because currently we're, we, we got the first one on lock. We need a bit more people. New lawyer, who can I get? Miguel Morales, oh my goodness. There's a Spider-Man reference. Alright, let's see. No, he's only one. No, he's only uh, freedom of religion down. No, I'm sorry, man. You don't got enough. Charles, what are you up to? Ooh, get the Second Amendment down. He, he's got good fame, he's got good speed covers a lot of stuff that he isn't. Hmm. I am picking Charles. Charles, you can go sit there. Alright, who's next? Who's next? Alright, he already covers two, four, eight, and three, I believe. I'm thinking between these two right now. Or maybe Abby. She goes into the way upper end. Alright, first let's look at these two. Uh, Big Brother used to take her stuff and accuse her of things she didn't do. Since then, Deborah has wanted to protect people's rights. That's a very sad story, but I don't have the prestige enough for you. I'm sorry. Jacob, we don't have enough for you. I don't have enough. Are they all just... 250? We don't have enough for them. Yeah, everyone's 250. Alright, we, we can't afford any more lawyers. Back to upgrades. What does upgrading the office do? No, I don't care about upgrading the office. What is that? That doesn't do anything for me. We have a couch people to sit. We got all the stuff for the lawyers. We're fine. We gotta advertise ourselves because we got the competing law firm. Raise public awareness by placing advertisement at your five-year-old five-year-old niece self-design. I'm sorry, no. 
Further raise the public awareness by placing fairly little design advertisement onto the Daily Prestige's website. Hmm, maybe, maybe. A professional ad. Ooh. We'll start off small. We'll start off small and place this ad. We'll save some prestige for later. What does the office actually do? No. Alright, maybe a table. And then how much is a chair? Ooh, a chair is 75. My goodness. I'll get a coffee table with magazines to go with a couch. And we can upgrade the couch? No, we don't need to upgrade the couch right now. Alright, we're done upgrading. We only have 30 prestige. We gotta win it back. Rise and shine. I forgot to mention, the clients who came by yesterday were friends of mine. Wait, what? <laughs> From now on, clients may not be so patient, so make sure to talk to them quickly. But dude, the, that could have been a conflict of interest in the court. What are you doing? You realize what happens if people figure that out? All right, partner. We have six more days to show people that our new law firm is the best in town. Let's do it. All right, let's go. Hello. I posted an article on my blog about saving dolphins. The government changed it to say we should save whales. Do I have a right to post the article about dolphins? Of course you do, even though they're douchebags. <laughs> you. My town just passed a law saying that if you do not attend synagogue or church, you will be sent to jail. Do I have a right not to attend synagogue or church? Yes, you do. Uh, let me see. But yes, you must wait for a second. Are you ready or no? Yes, go to trial. Come on, come on. We need this guy. Hello. I am an atheist, so I don't believe in God. I don't want to swear on a Bible if I'm ever a court witness. Do I have a right to not swear on the Bible? Hmm. I believe you do, but you will need to wait. You, come with you, come with me. Religion man, you're up. Match. Hello. I went to court to defend myself against jaywalking, and the judge declared me innocent. Now I'm being charged with obstructing traffic for the same incident. Do I have a right to avoid double jeopardy? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Does that does that fit under double jeopardy? Cuz it's the same one, right? I think it's the same case. Like it's not the same crime, it's the same case. Oh no, it is the same incident. Actually, you do have a right, but do I have anyone that can help with that? You will have to come back tomorrow. I don't have a guy who specializes in that. Go. No, no, no. Wait, 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 yes. You. After I got caught passing notes in class, my teacher gave me lunch detention. I had to sit silently while other kids got to have a normal lunch. Did I have a right to walk out of detention? No, you don't. Get out of here. You, come with me. This is your man. Hello. My track meet was canceled because they couldn't use a starter's pistol to begin the race after Congress banned all pistols. Do we have a right to get this law changed? Mm, Dorito. But yes, you definitely do. What is this? <laughs> How can I ban all pistols? Ari, thank you. It's a pleasure to have you. All right, yes, you do have a right. I believe we have a guy who can help with that. Our Second Amendment man right here. <laughs> I believe that works. Oh, sweet. Go to court. You go to court, too. Uh -huh. Alright, good. Fantastic. Oh, hello. Nice to have you. <clears throat> We're stuck on only two hours, but you know what? We are doing our best. That is good prestige. We need someone for double jeopardy. What is double jeopardy protected by? Hmm. 
don't, 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 don't pay attention. Okay, I'm, I'm doing. I'm not doing important research right now. All right. Uh, don't worry, I'm not checking anything. Alright, let's see. Firm enjoys a second day. Buy chairs? Ah, oh, alright. We, we do need chairs, I guess. We were able to fill out the two people. We need more people. Alright, here we go. More lawyers. We need a Fifth Amendment person. Alright, yeah, let's hire you. Deborah is proving her worth. Very nice, very nice. I will snatch up you. Alright, that's a good spread of people. Hmm. I know we have some people who have the 8 and 6 already. Hmm. Who can we grab? You know, I'll grab this guy. I'll grab this guy. That sounds useful. All right, back to upgrades. Let's grab some. Let's grab some s supplies. All right, chair, chair, chair. What's this? Guess why? We don't need that. The guests don't need the Wi-Fi. What's this? Aqua refresher. Hmm. Too dehydrated could be a problem. All right, go. All right, and we're done with upgrades. Back to lawyering. I'm gonna zombie, what have you gotten me into? You got me into the world of civics. What's this? I am seven feet tall, and a coffee shop refused to hire me because they said I was too tall for the ceiling. But I am fine with crouching. Do I have a right to equality under the law? I believe you do, but do I have a lawyer for that? You do have a thing, I'm gonna call you back tomorrow if I because I don't think I got a lawyer for that. Hmm. Actually, what is Oh, I know. There we go. There we go. I know I hired Abby for a reason. Alright, uh... We can help with that. Abby, you're on. Oh, no. no another person. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, no. Right, right, right. To avoid double jeopardy. Which was fifth? Yes. Alright, she's ready for trial. Abby, you work fantastically. Thank you. Match you, go to trial. Go, get going. Oh sweet, she took a seat. My mom grounded me for teasing my brother. All I said was he looked like a turtle. Do I have a right to not be grounded for teasing? No, and get more creative. Woohoo! After I got bad grades, my dad told me I can't play video games until my grades improve. But I'm on the last level of an awesome game. Do I have the right to play? Oh no. You're the gamer, what do I do? She doesn't have the right, but I don't want to turn her away. Oh, what do I do? Oh no. She's on the last level of Ring Fit. She's finally gonna beat Drago. What do I do? I don't know who to side with, the gamers or the, or the law. I gotta, I gotta side with the law. I gotta side with the law. You don't, you don't have the right. I'm sorry. You go to trial. All right, hello, sir. A police officer asked me for my name. After I responded, he searched my backpack because he said my name <laughs> sounded funny. Do I have a right that the police violated? Maybe. Thank you, Toasted. All right, one sec. Is that Fourth Amendment? No unreasonable searches. There we go. We didn't need... We didn't need the other person at the start. All right, yes. We can help with that. Get moving. Go. Right. 
Hello. My town passed a law banning all girls from playing soccer. And now my soccer team has been shut down. Do I have a right to play soccer? Yeah, that's 14th Amendment, right? You gotta double check. Yeah, yeah, you do. Beautiful. Right, oh, she's ready for trial. A policeman came to my front door and told me he was going to search my house because teenagers like to steal things. Did I have a right to tell him to go away? You do, I believe. That's unreasonable search. Is that unreasonable search or is that equality? Ooh, is this equality or unreasonable search? You have a right. Please wait. They'll be back by the time I'm done. I believe that's 14th. Or no, not 14th. That's a... That's 4th. I think. I believe this is 4th. Match it. Oh, you're already ready. My goodness, you worked you worked so quick. Thank you. Oh my god, no slavery. A vote again a vote regardless of race. No cruel and unusual punishment, and vote regardless of race. My goodness. We we are stacking up here. That's fantastic. Third time's the charm for a new firm. Oh my goodness. Ruvius retro recorded. We don't need this. <laughs> we just need people to like our laws and stuff. Or the stuff we do. Okay, do we need another lawyer? Hmm, do we need another lawyer? Oh, the Sally Forth from the start. Nah, nah, your, your skills are already being filled out pretty well. What's the 26th? Turn 18 guarantees you right to vote. We don't really need that. Or we, we don't need that. Atticus Funch. That feels like a reference. True Southern Gentleman goes like Usher Drama, Corazon. Teach a case. Eh. Impartial jury, speedy public trial, no double jeopardy. Private property. Eh. I don't think we need him. What are you? 26. Right, no, we don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need don't need that. Alright. Impartial jury. No cruel and unusual punishment. Speedy and public trial. We already have Fourth Amendment. But these other three do look appealing. What do you guys fill out? Is your eighth different? No, yours is cruel no cruel and unusual punishment. But the two sixes do look nice. But then we can just get this guy. Hmm. I think we take on Atticus. Come on in, my guy. Plus he's very famous. That's wonderful. And we're all staffed. Alright, office. What's this? Can't afford a marketing department, it's up to you to spread the word about your new firm on social media. We can afford a marketing thing, okay? We're gonna do that. Cafo refresher? No, we already have <laughs> we already have the aqua refresher. What's this? The cat uh, we don't need a cat. We do need a dog though. <laughs> we very much need a dog. Don't think we need the turntable. What are these? We already have that, already have that. Uh, I don't know about this. Fine. Alright, ads. Place a professional ad, because we got we got a full bunch of famous people here now. Hmm. Was it I can boost them? No, no, what else we got? I 
don't know what these do. I guess I can give him stuff. Okay, you're a very famous man, so... We'll give you this so you look professional. We'll give you this. And you're a fast worker. We're gonna give you a laptop to help speed you up. You... Hmm... You're relatively new, we'll give you the legal eagle stuff. Desk lamp, you take desk lamp. Alright, good. Go. How do you not love the dog? Alright, here we go. My state purposefully made it more difficult for minorities to vote. I am a minority. Do I have a right to vote? Yes. It's 14th, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry I keep checking all the stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm very nervous about messing it up. I messed up the stuff with Persona yesterday. Okay, I can't be too sure. Go. Hello. After I parked my car in a no parking zone, a judge said he would park my law-breaking you-know-what in jail for the rest of my life. Do I have a right to a different punishment? Uh, that does fall under cruel and unusual punishment, I think. Let's see. Slavery, no, no house soldiers. Speedy public trial doesn't really fit. Is that fifth? No, it's no double jeopardy. Cronies punishment. Yes, yes, yes. I think we can help with that. Because the whole thing for the rest of your life, that, that sounds like too much. I think that fits. Ready for trial. Very nice. You. I am from Portugal, and I am an American citizen. My town has a law that all Portuguese people have to take a test before they can vote. Do I have a right to vote regardless of ethnicity? I believe that's equal equality, so please wait. Hello. I wrote the president asking if I could be the new pilot of Air Force One. He wrote back and said, maybe one day, but I want to fly now. Do I have a constitutional right to fly Air Force One? No. All right, go, go to trial. We lost the case. Aw, oh, man. Garcia raised the 15th. Damn it. I'm sorry. That's my fault. Alright, then there we go. Hello. Three Air Force pilots showed up at my house this morning. They said they could stay at our house, and they offered to pay us five dollars. We don't like uninvited guests. Do I have a right to make them leave? Oof, I, I have a guy for that, but I don't think he has the skills just yet. No, it's no house soldiers. I thought I thought it was this guy. <laughs> All right, you have the right. I can help with that. All right. Now, soldiers, go to trial. Hello. A jury said I was guilty of trespassing at a school. As my punishment, the judge ordered that I be tied to the school's flagpole and that anyone walking by be allowed to throw food at me. Can I stop this punishment? Yeah, it's cruel cool and unusual, right? We can help with that. that that's insane. And you passed it. Good. Go to trial. You go to trial too. The police want to search my backpack because they're looking for a missing 30-foot farm tractor. There's no way a farm tractor could fit in my bag. Do I have a right to stop the search? Yes, you do. That's, uh... Air weapons... Yes, 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 you do. Uh, give Charles a minute and he'll be back. I'm 
on trial for stealing a watch. I asked for a jury, but the judge told me that juries take too long, so instead the judge will just decide whether I am guilty or innocent. Oh my do goodness. Do I have a right to a jury? You do, most definitely. Do I have the guy for that? Speedy public trial, impartial jury. I, you do have a right. Can you come back tomorrow? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Alright, who is it again? Double Jeopardy. 30 foot farm tractor. One sec, I'm, I'm checking through the guys. There, uh, Charles. I guess Charles is the MVP of this game. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you are number four. I emailed my congressman asking him to change the voting age to 12 because I think it's unfair that adults get to vote, but I don't. He replied that 18 was the right voting age. Do I have a right to vote at 12 years old? No, you do not. Oh my goodness, Charles, get, get out there, go. The police in my town only protect people with curly hair. People with straight hair don't get protection. Do I have a right to protection if I have straight hair? I mean, you do, but... <laughs> I guess equality under the law it fits. Yeah, you. you I, <laughs> this sounds hard to prove, but okay, I, we can help with that. You gotta protect the straight hair people. Oh ho! Not you. Come, come on. I really like my town's park, so I put a flag in the middle of it and declared it Arthurland. I keep telling people that the park is my property, but nobody listens. Do I have a right to the park? No, you don't. I'm sorry, man. You made it just in time, but I'm sorry. Alright, ready for trial. Go. Hello, puppy. Ooh, and we're done. Alright, who was the guy that was going to come back tomorrow? Who was he? Was it government property? I don't think so. Impartial jury was it. Okay, we have impartial jury available. Atticus, thank you. After day four? Oh my goodness, thank you. And look at that, we got our advertisements! Get with the digital age, shut up. <laughs> oh, you had a disaster for the 15th Amendment. Ah. Oh. Oh, this is terrible. I don't format properly, no. Alright, we can't get any more lawyers, we're fully staffed. Alright, let's just spend whatever we can on the office now. Yeah, you know, whatever, fine. We'll get the we'll get the C D player. Or the record player or whatever. Uh it's getting the digital age, sure. <laughs> I don't know if I like this. But it doesn't move really fast when clicked, so sure. They don't need it, but fine. Also, let's give him something. That doesn't get rid of stuff they already have, right? Whatever, uh, Wi Fi. Wi Fi is very important. Yeah, we already did the ads, so... Yeah, I'll place it. You know what, we have, we have the stuff. Fine, let's, let's get the cat. Right, yeah, let's get the cat, sure. Sure, let's go. And we're done. We got the prestige. Wait, now click it. The governor of my state wants to take my computer and give it to his son for his birthday. Do I have a right to stop him? That's personal property, right? Oh, that's Beanie Public Trial, that's that. Who's the, who's the... Keep private property, yes, you do. Deborah, help him.
You're the guy, right? My sister beats me at every game of checkers, no. and it's really terrible. I need to win the next one. It's only fair since she won the last ten. Do I have a constitutional right to win the next game? No. Get better. Get good at the game. My town passed a law that one day a year, everyone has to be a slave to their neighbor. Wait, what? <laughs> the mayor said he doesn't like slavery, but wanted to teach people a lesson. Do I have a right not to be a slave for a day? Well, yes, you do. That's 13th, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes, you have that right. Get over here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I knew it was here. I didn't know how they would work it in, though. <laughs> Alright, yeah, you, you have a right not to be a slave. Hello. A judge from declining a request to a jury. Yes, you do. That's... this guy. Right to impartial jury. Beat up. My town passed a law that lets men vote for free. But women have to pay five dollars to vote. Do I have a right to an equal vote, regardless of sex? That feels like 14th Amendment, but it also feels like... Hmm. Nah, nah, I guess it is that one. Yeah, we can help with that. That's I was arrested for trespassing oh, and I'm going to trial. The trial's about to start, but the judge says the trial will last about 15 years. Do I have a right to a trial before then? Yes, that is Atticus, right? Yes, be a trial. Yes, you have a right, please wait. Atticus will be right with us. Speedy and public trial. Uh -huh. I got a ticket last week for having a barbecue in the park without a permit. I told the police officer that I didn't need a permit because it's my full-time job to party. Do I have a right to ignore the ticket? No. <laughs> we lost the case, wait, what? Bad news, uh, blah, 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 blah. but regardless of sex was, ah, it's the 19th. Damn, I thought that would, I thought that would work. Like, that sounds right. Yeah, whatever. Uh, go to, okay, good. Thank you. I worked really hard to get elected mayor. I knocked on every door in town, but still lost the election. I think some of the people I talked to just didn't listen. Do I have a right to be mayor? No, get out of here, Joe. Oh. Hello. I can't play laser tag this weekend because Congress passed a law banning all guns, including laser guns. Do I have a right to get this law changed? Yeah, that, that sounds like second. I mean, the laser gun doesn't really matter, but the all guns portion, yes, that, that definitely matters. Laser guns not so much, but all right. Where's that guy who was gonna come in earlier? I was arrested for robbing a him? bank and might be put in prison for LZ. many years. The judge says that I can't have a jury. Do I have a right to have a jury hear my case? Yes, you do. Atticus, you, uh, you got a long one going on. Wait, no, no, I almost clicked the wrong one. No, no. Oh, no, I'm slow. My town's mayor decided people who are ethnic can't vote in local elections. This is wrong on so many levels, but it can't be legal. Do I have a right to vote? All right, all right. Equality, vote regardless of race. Okay, yeah, there we go. It's got to be 15th. Those feel like they should be together, but whatever. 15th, go. Atticus just does it on his own. Thank you, Atticus. You're so, you're so caring. I appreciate you. Hello. A voting official said that since I am only 19 years old and not of drinking age, I also am not allowed to vote. Do I have a right to vote? You do. Do I have a guy for that? No slavery. Own weapons. No slavery. Vote regardless of race. Quality of law. No. I know I saw the thing before. Do I have the guy needed to do it? 
What's 15th? No, that's regardless of race. Voting age is 16th. Okay, can you come back tomorrow? Uh, yeah, can you come back tomorrow? Oh. Man, he has not been getting much work done. Like, he, just people haven't been coming in for his cases. Alright, two more days and we should be good. There we go. We got vote at age 18 and vote regardless of race. Very good, very good. I wish Atticus was getting more stuff because he's really useful. And a victory. Alright, which was the one I messed up again? Alright, to barbecue. Wrong lawyer assigned. Yeah, yeah, I, I got it. I messed that up. Uh, faulty, you're dumb. Get moving. Alright, can't upgrade lawyers. Uh, what can we upgrade? That's already done. Where, where's the, why is the cat there? And my goodness, the dog is just loving Atticus. That's wonderful. He, he's doing fantastic work. I appreciate him. In that. Let's give him a desk lamp just so he can do his job better. Let's give him a computer so he can also do his job better. Let's get him this so new clients are more willing to go with him. We also just dump this for everyone else, why not? Why not? Let's do it. We're going to buff up all our lawyers. Alright, we can't buff up the last guy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you got all your skills, but we, it, it, tomorrow, okay, we'll get you stuff tomorrow. And no more stuff for advertisements, I didn't think this through. Alright, let's go. No. My mom grounded me for hitting my sister. I have to stay in my room for an entire hour. It feels worse than prison. How'd you get out? Do I have a constitutional right to come out of my room? No. Uh. I want to write messages all over my school's walls. Do I have a right to write on the walls? No. Uh. This, this property stuff. Coffee's wearing down. I was found guilty of spray painting graffiti in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. For my punishment, the judge ordered that anyone be able to spray paint on me for the rest of my life. Do I have a right to a different punishment? Yeah, that's a cool and unusual, right? No cool and unusual punishment. Alright, yeah, you have a right. Come with me. Who's messaging me? Please, I'm doing important lawyer stuff. Congress passed a law saying that all people who were born in May will be slaves to those born in June. Oh my god. Because June is a better month. I was born in May. Do I have a right not to be a slave? But yes, you do. That's, uh, it's 13th, right? Yeah. yeah. Why is this... My goodness, what's wrong with these people? Oh yes, you have a right to not be a slave. You, you go. Alright, I have a right to... Oh, yeah, you're 26, right? Twenty-six. Go. Coffee. I was arrested for shoplifting today, and the judge set my trial for two weeks from now. But I want to go on vacation, so I'm demanding that my trial be today. Do I have a right to have my trial today? A speedy and fair trial? Uh, I mean, that's a two weeks isn't too long. I'm pretty sure that's fine. He doesn't. The trial can't just be today. There's other cases and stuff. I don't think you have the right. To be her trial does make me question that. I woke up today, and a soldier was sleeping in the top bunk of my bunk bed. Oh my goodness. I told him to get out, but he refuses to leave, saying his general told him to sleep there. Do I have a right to kick him out of my house? Yes, you have a right. Uh, who's the guy for that again? 
slavery, vote age 18, no. No house soldiers, yes. Get out of the right, please wait. Alright, come on. You want the case? That's fantastic. We're gonna pimp out your desk later. Hola, Loki. Hello. We're busy with the civics. Last we're doing. Year, we're running a law firm. I was arrested for jaywalking. Mm -hmm. There was a trial, and I was found innocent. That's fantastic. They want to put me on trial again. Do I have a right to stop the second trial? Yes, you do. That's a. Uh... Yeah, that's no double jeopardy. Go. This is important stuff. You gotta know. You gotta know your American stuffs. Go match. Good. Go for trial. Hello. My mayor said that people can practice religions with names that start with the letters A through K only. Do I have a right to practice a religion starting with R? I believe so. What religion starts with R, though? Also, why did the music just cut out? <laughs> oh, whatever. Uh, First Amendment, right? Yeah, free more religion. All right, Chuck. Chuck, you you finally got a job again. Good. Here you go, Chuck. <laughs> You finally got another job. There you go. <laughs> oh, he's off to trial too. All right, cool. Is that it for today? All right, one day left. Got to prove the law firm is doing well. Come on, come on. No double jeopardy. Speedy public trial. No house soldiers. Uh, we already have these. We don't. We didn't get anything new. This is kind of a problem. But we only got one more day to push through. A mustache association, not with a new firm. Oh no. How could we lose the mustache association? By reason sex, not everyone. Uh leaves product and free press happy. Sources say some people it turns out I denied service and turned away. Call it that discrimination. Oh no, not discrimination, no. So he will help others they reject. There's no problem, right? Wrong. Close attention, you'll see a pattern. Oh wait, one sec. On the fact they have mustaches, no! I didn't notice you've been rejecting the mustache people, no! Oh no, what are we gonna do? We can get sued for that, I think. Okay, uh, first things first, office. Yeah, you're doing great work, man. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna pivot your case. There you go, fantastic. Good, good job, you did a good job. And we can't do anything else. So let's get ourselves an ad. More customers. Okay, we're stocked up on everything else. Into the final day. Let's go. It's coffee up. Don't drink coffee. It's bad the for you, but we're doing it for state reasons. Wants to build a new house where my house is. He wants to take my house. Do I have a right to stop him? Yeah, that's, pu that's private property, right? Calling the law and slavery. No. Keep private property. Yes, come with me. Hello. I gave a speech today in front of my town hall on an important subject. I invited the whole town council, but nobody showed up. Do I have a right to make people come and listen to me? No, later. Our town mayor said that only men may vote in the next election for mayor. The mayor did this because he thinks men understand the issues of the town better. Mm. Do I have a right to vote in the election? Yes, but which one is that? Which one which one is that? Quality under the law. Vote a raise. Is that it? Is that it? Rights review really quick. Select a right. Uh hey, one sec, yeah. Uh, uh, which is the women's right to vote one? But regardless of sex, do we have vote 19? We do, we do. Or is that the right, is that the right one? Vote regardless of sex, yes, cool. You have a right, come with us. Chuck, you gotta take care of this. Oh my goodness, thank you Chuck, I'm so happy I picked you. This is my first guy. 
At my trial for stealing a computer, the judge said that instead of hearing the evidence, each juror would roll some dice to decide the case. Do I have a right to stop this? Yes, that's an impartial jury, I believe. I believe we can help with that. I don't think the dice counts as impartial, so I think we're fine. He, the jury's gotta be fair. Hello. My trial has been going on since 1993. Enough is enough! Do I have a right to a speedy trial? Yes, you do. Uh, but you're gonna have to wait. Yeah, please wait. Our lawyer is currently busy. Oh, no, no, no. The mayor of my town wants to turn my family's farm into a private golf course. He says in exchange, we will get to play golf for free. Do I have a right to keep my farm? Oh, it's a pretty sweet deal, but nah, you, you, you have a right. But why would you not want to play golf for free? Dude, we play the sports all the time. The golf is amazing. It's fantastic golf. But yes, we, we, we can help with that. I need you to help him with his private property. Uh -huh. My big brother is really mean and told me he was going to sell me at our yard sale on Saturday. Do I have a right not to be a slave? Oh. <laughs> I, I mean you do, but I don't know if this was like a real thing, but yeah, you, we have 13th Amendment. Yeah, come on. I can help with that. You do have a right to not be a slave. Come on. You have a right to speedy trial. Come take a seat. Speedy trial match. Go. Congress said nobody could own any weapon hmm. other than their own arms, saying it was allowing people to bear arms. Do I have a right to own other kinds of You must of definitely weapons? do. Come on. Come, come with me. We, we take the right to bear arms very seriously here. All right. Yeah, yeah, take it. I think girls should be able to get driver's licenses at an earlier age than boys. Everyone knows girls are better drivers. Do I have a right to get my license earlier? Uh, I, I could see your point. Your name is Goody Driver for a reason, but nah, you don't get the right. My brother wants to sell me to a woman who wants to keep me on her farm. Do I have a right to stop the sale? That sounds exactly like the slavery, so yes, I believe you do. Uh, but please wait. One of our guys is at trial. Now he's no longer at trial. Come on. Uh -huh. Get the coffee. What's up? My friends all have big screen TVs and premium cable. I don't. You do not. You, you don't have a right. The leave. police say they will arrest me for drawing a cartoon showing my town's mayor is an evil wizard. Do I have a right to stop them? Yes, you do. Come with me. Come, come with Chuck. Chuck knows what he's doing. The right to expression. Go. Someone's phone got stolen at school today. The principal had me searched because of my suspicious looking face. Did I have a right to stop the search? That's Fourth Amendment, right? Yes, yes, come along. Come along, sir. I admit you do have a suspicious face, but you know what? We, we will still help you. Hello, Pepper. My goodness, we are a machine at this point. Any final cases? Oh no, coffee. There's no one else? No buzzer beaters? Yeah, buzzer beater. I bought my brother a t-shirt, but he refuses to wear it. How was I supposed to know he wouldn't like a t-shirt that said, My sister Sally is the coolest. Do I have a right to make him wear it? Ah, uh, Why do you have to be the buzzer beater? I was hoping for another case. In fact, your name's Ego, too. It makes me not want to turn you away, but you gotta leave. Aww. Leave me alone. Alright, we're done. We got no days left. Google Realtor is out of stock. Yeah, we. Oh no, we put them out of business. No! The new firm is set. Alright, how do we do? How do we do? Seven days in business. What a ride! Looks like our firm is off to a great start. Way to go, partner. Yes. 
Lori retired. Oh, my goodness. Full, full team bonus. That's amazing. You won 39 cases. Oh my goodness, that's wonderful. I mean, now we're done. We're done. We're done with this. <laughs> done. Epic White Cat and Epic Dog. Yeah, they, they were the ones who carried the team. They're, they're the real reason we won. Alright, alright. We got time for one more thing, and then we try... Mm, oh, wait. Just your knowledge of U.S. citizenship without getting out of sorts. Is this thing we're looking for? Hmm. Oh, no. You'll see Brain Pop. I don't really want to do that. All right, let's see. We got time for one more before we attempt the U.S. citizenship tests that I was able to find online. Whatever. Jump into the lawmaking process of Congress. Did we already do that with... Hmm. Decisions. Decisions. You know, whatever. Let's try... Let's try Lawcraft. Let's give it. A, let's give it a check. Let's see what this is up to. You must judge all the games equally. Can't go in with preconceived notions of them. This is in fact a new game. Let's go. Welcome to the United States House of Representatives. As a member of Congress, your mission is to craft a law that will improve the lives of people that live in your district. Success here means that you are securing your re-election in the House. Wait, I'm, I'm already first, the president? Oh my Jesus. You must choose which district you would like to represent. Oh no. Alright, who can I represent? Uh, ba -ba -ba. Who should I represent? Okay, okay, let's, let's analyze this for a sec. Okay, let's look at this. We need votes from the peoples, but now what does this mean to get votes from the people? This means we need to win the electoral college. We're not exactly going for the biggest amount of people. We need, we need people like from many types of areas to vote for us. So if we pick the city, we can get the city, but that's only one place from the college. They have a lot of points, but I don't know about that. We can get the desert town, but that feels like we're basically getting this cut off. With this, however, we do get the countryside. That's very nice. I do enjoy the countryside. I've been over before that I very much prefer the country to big cities. I don't know. This looks like a slightly smaller city, so it just seems like a slower version of that. And then we got suburban homes. Hmm. Out of everything here, who should I try to court for the for support in my election? I'm gonna go out on a limb. I'm gonna pick the Suburbans. I'm, I'm picking Suburban. A commuter's paradise can be found in the 5th district. Subdivisions, shopping, movie theaters, good schools, and community parks draw families that want to live the American dream without the long commute to the city. Yeah, listen to that. That sounds perfect. That sounds amazing. Th this sounds like the exact type of thing I want. But actually, let's hear out the others. Let's hear them out. Welcome to the 1st district where residents enjoy access to the city and the countryside. Oh, they got both. Okay, Home that, to the that state capital, a large university, and lots of outdoor activities all year long. Okay. Welcome to the second district, where mm -hmm. you can find friendly small towns, peaceful country mm -hmm. roads, and a slower pace of life. We are home to some of the most productive farmland in the state, producing milk, grains, cattle, and sheep. Okay, that sounds more like what I wanted from from this. That sounds that sounds like Smallville. So what are you? If you love the great outdoors, the third district is for you. It has the most national and state parks in the region, with great rivers for fishing, hiking trails, and lots of winter activities too. Farming and tourism are the core of our economy. Yeah, not, not interested. Enjoy all the city has to offer in the fourth district. From a booming tech industry to the finest museums, nightlife, and transit system in the region, you will never run out of things to do. That just sounds like this, but different. Okay. So it's between Smallville and Suburbia. These are important questions. They got an American flag in there, so that, that's tilting me a bit more towards them. But these people are looking for the American dream. But these guys also are the ones who support the system. 
Ooh, they got strong economies. Ugh. Ah, uh, this is hard. Who do I support? Do I go for suburbia or do I go for... Or do I go for the farming land? These are important questions. These are important questions. Mm, what do I do? What do I do? Okay, okay. Just, just get through. Why does America have to be so good that it has so many good choices? Uh, I'm going with small towns. Welcome to the second. I'm picking second district. All right, demographics. Of, uh, they got two community colleges too. All right, cool, cool. Mm, older adult, young, urban, suburban, rural. That sounds like a good split. Income high, medium low. Okay, okay. I have to keep track of these. All right, let's go. To the United States Capitol, let's go. You've received a few letters from some of the people in your district. Let's take a look. Let, let's take a look indeed. Dear representative, I live on a small farm out in the country and can only make it to the doctor if I am really sick. I see. The doctor is over an hour away, and even then, I cannot afford the bills that follow. Oh, no. Farming can be dangerous work, and many of my friends have been injured in accidents. No. How can we keep people healthy when health care, drugs, and medical research are so expensive? Please do something to support better health care in rural communities like mine. That does sound respectfully, very Respectfully, Mac McBride. Farmer, age 44. Oh my goodness, Andy said respectfully. Oh man, this dude this dude is so kind. Alright, we gotta help this man. We gotta help him. We're gonna explore this issue. Uh, what is this? Select a group of the strongest support? Wait, what? But, but he's, he's an adult. He's not older. Density? He said he's rural. So, he's rural? Income? He said he was low. Hmm, but he is farmer, so... Hmm. Hmm. Is he medium or is he low? Because it's just that he's far away. Hmm. He's far away and that's why he can't afford to go all the time. It's too much on the gas. I'm a bet low income. Let's submit and help this man. How do the predictions go? He is an adult. Very nice. He is rural. Okay. He is... He is low income. Okay. Alright, good, good. We're three for three. I was Dear representative, our city schools need more from our lawmakers. Right. Many are finding it hard to serve their communities due to lack of funding and general support. So, I am asking you to take the lead in making our schools better places for students. Our families depend on schools to do a lot more than just teach. They need to keep us safe, care for our needs, and show us how to be successful adults. Thanks for reading. Tiffany, student, Age 13. That's an odd way to spell Tiffany, but okay. So age 13, hmm. There's a kid that's very passionate about this stuff. But we gotta check this out. We gotta explore the issue. That sounds like something impacting the young. But it is something the adults are gonna have to deal with. But the, the person writing is young. The density. Hmm. Uh, is she urban or suburban? It's a community school, so my bet is suburban. But this sounds like something that would come from a more urban person. Hmm. I'll bet on suburban. And then income, low. She's a child. Come on, come on. Get me that reelectability. Very good. We 
would have also gotten strong support from the other people, so that's still good. Low income. Very good, very good. Okay, me these guys would have been a safe bet as well. <laughs> like the medium the middle column would have just been a safe bet. <laughs> Is why you always pick C on the tests. Always pick C. Dear representative, my parents and I were talking about where we get our energy from, and now I'm worried. I mean, we have the money to pay the energy bills. This is more serious. What is? What if we run out of fossil fuels? We, we got a bunch of those. What else can we use that is cleaner? How can we make this big city less polluted? You're not in what a big city. What should the government city. do? Can I make my own energy and sell it? I have a lot of questions, and I hope you and your friends in Congress have some answers. You Thanks. are it. You, you are Snow, a child. I don't city think... school student, age ten. I don't think you can make your own energy at age ten, but okay. First things first, we're gonna we're gonna establish something. Running out of fossils, you do we do have a lot of them. I do understand the concerns about sustainable energy. Problem is, every time we try to make the sustainable energy, people run into problems. Everyone thinks the the nuclear power plants are gonna crash and stuff, so no one wants to make them. When nuclear power is like incredibly awesome in terms of like efficiency, I fully understand. But also. If we want to use more, like, more sustainable stuff, that takes a lot of stuff to make. Like, yeah, wind turbines can do the wind power. It takes a lot of stuff to make the wind power stuff happen. It's the paper bag analogy. Uh, if you request to use a plastic bag, and then you just use it once, you've already fulfilled the usage of one plastic bag. If you use a paper bag, however, you need to use the same paper bag ten times to offset the production of making the paper bag. And then if you try to go for one of those cotton bags, oh my goodness, we, we, we get way off, okay? This is the stuff you gotta think about. But now, important questions. If we... Hmm, we do gotta use the sustainable energies, however, we need to use the right sustainable energies we have access to. We can't just be worried about all the nuclear stuff, because yes, accidents happen, but they are accidents. We need to, we need to be more reasonable about this. We do have so, I do have some answers for you, Young Snow. However, we need to understand the situation we're in. Alright, but let's see, let's see. Uh, age. With the strongest support, this sounds like it would be an adult issue. I doubt the older people are going to care much about this. Actually, maybe the young? Maybe the young? Because they're all, like, concerned about the future. Like, Snow seems very concerned. But I feel like this would be an adult issue as well. Actually, do the adults really care? Because think about this. When you're a kid and you hear that the sun is going to explode... Uh, in like 10 billion years. Yeah, you think about that for a minute. Kids kids think about this type of stuff quite a bit. I, I'm aware. Adults, they got to worry about the bills and stuff. Are they as concerned about the climate stuff? And then old people, I, I there's no way they're concerned about it. Ooh, this is, this is a question. This is a question. Hmm. I think it's going to be the young, because it's going to hit kids pretty hard. You could also argue that kids, they're gonna, just going to be focused on, like, the school stuff and all that things. But I do think, if kids think about this, it's going to hit them pretty hard and they're going to be all concerned about this. Snow came up with a lot of stuff, so my bet is he's he's going to be the main demographic. This feels like an urban concern, because he's talked about the big cities and stuff. And then income, I would say low... Medium, high, hmm. Hmm. I would assume low income people aren't as concerned about this because the low income people are worried about like the hospital bills, like the first guy. Medium income people, maybe, but high income, I would assume they would because they would try to figure out ways to help with this. I'ma say. Hmm. I must think high. I think high. I think it's young, urban, high-income people. But then again, if it's low-income because they're kids, ah, uh, this is, this is, ugh. Damn you, Civics. Why are you gonna make me think? Alright, I'm, I'm submitting. I'm submitting. I'm going with my gut. I'm submitting. Am I correct? Survey. Go. Alright, got it. Got it. Beautiful. Is it urban? Yes. And they're the only strong support ones, okay? And then income? It was also strong support. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, we're crushing it. 
Select an issue above. Oh, no. We got to pick one. Ah. Uh, select an issue above. Would you like help choosing a topic for your bill? No. Leave me alone. All right. All right. Let's see. Let's see. The density is suburban and rural, so my assumption is... Hmm. We gotta pick something that supports both of those, but we got nothing that fits that. Damn it. Hmm. Adults do seem to care a l quite a bit about the school stuffs. Like, across the board, adults care about that. An adult is a sizable amount of our target demographic. And the income people... Hmm. What do we do? What do we do? Alright, we don't gotta worry about adults. Adults fix everything. Adults are secure. Suburban is our next biggest thing. And then factoring... Alright, school support is our best bet. School support's our best bet. It gets us everything we need. I would like to help the healthcare person. Energy is its own thing. I think this is our best option. Go. You've officially introduced your bill into the House of Representatives. Let's get crafting. Oh my goodness, perfect. Thank you. A lot of work goes into each clause. Oh no, it's a new setup. Why? In a bill. During congressional hearings, members of the public are invited to share facts and opinions, which may influence which clauses are adopted. Your bill is currently empty, so you'll need to hold a hearing to generate your first few clauses. Mm, okay. Hold a hearing. Corp wait, what? <laughs> Each cause of the line was six values, some values, uh, what do we do? Like adult, suburban, medium income, uh. We gotta adjust the value, Ah, oh, why? Uh, okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, so rural, urban. Okay, uh, why? We got a lot of people voting us down. I think we go with this because that we got a lot of people on this side, and also on this side too, and also here. Yeah, we're we're picking you. Bill South, go. I have seen many bills come and go through this chamber over the years. Successful ones were those that kept government in check, favoring the power of the people over anything else. Uh, okay. All right, good. Those all helped. That's uh, pushing people there. Okay, so we want, we mainly want this one first. We're picking this one. We're getting a lot of people there. Oh, can I just pick all of them? All right, I'll pick these. Uh, I don't think this can mess with me in any way. Hmm. I think this works. But now we need those money people. Hmm. One plus one equals 300. Yes, Loki. Thank you for your maths. Oh my goodness, you have no clue how much we appreciate the maths. All right, all right. We can disregard this person. That's just one. We want to go here. Hmm. Do we go with him again and pretty much just go further on this side or no? We want these people, so... I guess we'll take you. I think this will help with that. I work with all kinds of students, and they would all benefit from more funding from the government. 
clubs, sports, the arts, all need funding if we want to have healthy and successful kids. That is very true. Very nice. Thank you, Dan. All right, continue. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, we need... Okay, that gets them off, but that also takes them away from there. No, 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 that's bad, that's bad. Oof, oof, no, 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 no. No, 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 we need, we need, get rid of that, get rid of that. Alright, we get three people as opposed to two, so that'll, that'll work there. Okay, good, very good, very good. Hmm. How much does this lose us? Two for one, not a good deal at all. Alright, this is our best bet. So now we just go all the way this way. That's our next mission. Hold a hearing. Oh no, where'd he go? Ah, uh, we needed him. We needed that guy. Okay, uh... Alright, we gotta go this way, so I'm gonna choose... Do we, get, do we go for those three, or do we go for this one and that, uh... Pick this guy. As a taxpayer with no children, I believe we must keep a close eye on education costs. The government should not be spending a lot of taxpayer money. We should find other sources of money if more is needed. Okay. <laughs> Boy, you should get some kids. kids. Kids are kind of awesome. No, still loses those, so... All right, we got that one. Hmm, I don't think I can get anyone else from there, so we're just gonna get the last one up here. Hold one more hearing. We need you. Malk Jefferson. It's a competitive world out there. We need to help our students by giving them more opportunities to compete. I'd love to show you all the trophies my youngest has won. That's amazing, dude. Good for you. And good for your youngest. That's amazing. 2 plus 2 is 600. Ooh, I don't know about that. Might, might have to check the math. <laughs> Alright, let's see. We need the trophy. Where's the trophy? The trophy's here. Alright. Super majority, go! <laughs> Get super majority, we win! <laughs> Delivering to the Senate. Your bill was introduced into the U.S. Senate. The senators deliberated and have proposed a number of changes. Oh uh, no, a number of changes. In order for the Senate to pass your bill, you will need to satisfy at least three of the following five priorities. Oh no, we had our supermajority, damn it. <laughs> right, let's see, achieve supermajority, 66% house support, ah, uh, okay, okay. Uh, Alright, what do I gotta do? Alright, uh... Ooh. That further supports us there. That gets us back to super majority. Is that it? Is that is that it or no? Uh, no. Where are the Senate priorities? This isn't helping at all. Uh, no, this isn't helping at all. Where are the Senate priorities? Wait, no, that wasn't what... Uh. Alright, back down there. That feels right. We're missing something. Oh, no, 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 that's wrong. That's wrong. I gotta reset myself back to where I was before. It's only 64. 
Damn, how do I have this set up before? Come on. Was it really? No, it wasn't one of these. <laughs> Alright, whatever, whatever. Uh, whatever, hold a hearing so we could. Well, what do I even need to do? Alright, expand view. What do they want me to do? Include at least one equality cause, okay? Include two generosity clause at two of them? Not everyone feel welcome at school. Uh, include a clause that appeal to young people. Uh, okay, we need more stuff. So let's see. Equality clause. We lose one person, but that does fulfill that. We need another young clause. Let's get searching. You're the only one that works. Craig, get going. We can do so much for America's children if we only try. Money we spend on education is not wasted. It is invested in our future. That is a fair point. Thank you. All right, you, you're the one we want. Increase funding to school activities. Okay. We need stuff for the young people. You can call for a vote, but no, we need more stuff. Look how much people we lost. Alright, we need another money. Okay, that's 64. That's much better. I need this. That's 68! Call for a vote. There he is, 900. That's perfect, Loki. You, you, you are part of the reason we're taking these big votes on the schools. Alright, it's passed. Oh, we did it. Okay, I, I didn't know we did it. I, I expected a bit more. But okay. I, I, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up, shut up. Return, return title. Return, go to title. Alright, thank you. That's it. We did it. Wonderful. One moment. Okay. No, 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 not that. Let's, uh... Alright. Let's hit that. Okay. Now to finish things off. I have scoured the webs. Define, not this. Not that, not that. Define tests. I will be testing my knowledge on the citizenships. And seeing where I land to see if I actually know anything about the country. <laughs> I might have done some stuff with the other stuff, but you know what? We're gonna figure it out. <laughs> because now How have the Civics been? The Civics have honestly been wonderful. They were they were pretty fun. <laughs> Civics was honestly pretty fun. I've been thoroughly enjoying myself. I ran a pretty good law firm and I got a, a decent bill passed for the people I was supporting. Honestly, fun times. I didn't expect the lawyer stuff to go so smoothly, but now uh, or sorry, uh, now we must test ourselves and prepare for the oath. Let's start our tests. And also, uh, one sec, let me, uh, let's put that down there. And that's good background music. Okay. But now we must test ourselves. Yeah, civics has been really fun. All right. Test ourselves in the laws. Okay. What branch stops the government from becoming too powerful? Ooh, okay. So throw out the executive branch immediately. All right. Is it... Is it Confederacy and Union? Is it the checks and balances? Is it the freedom of speech? Or is it the House Representatives and the Senate? Ooh, my goodness. I believe it is the House and Senate. It is incorrect. <laughs> Okay, cool. I think it's the Union, actually. Alright, let's see. What is the economic system of the United States? 
it is communism, slavery, market economy, or checks and balances. Ooh, okay, let's see. I thought it would have just been capitalism, but okay. What is our system? Market economy or checks and balances? I don't think checks and balances is a system. I'm pretty sure it's the market economy. That's correct. Okay, we're, we're, o f <laughs> we're one for one now. All right, here we go. Or one for two, whatever the term is. Go. What does the U.S. Senator represent? It is all the people in the state, I believe. I believe this to be the case. Yes. Who makes the federal laws? Uh, okay. I believe it's Congress. The president can't just make the stuff. He's got to pass through the people. I believe it's Congress. Yes. What major event happened on September? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, the people attacked the United States. That, that, that. Okay. <laughs> what did Martin Luther King Jr. do? Fought for civil rights, freed the slave, set up our government, or wrote the Emancipation Proclamation. I mean, yeah, he fought for civil. He fought for civil rights. Very good. When was the Constitution written? Oh no. All right. 1776. That's not it. There's no way that's it. 1800. That's way too late. 1929. That's way too late. Okay, it has to be 1787, I believe, because this is this is the this is a different thing. That's when the, like the country was founded or something. This is its own thing. Yes, sweet, sweet. What is that? No, I don't care about that. Get rid of that. It's just taking up space. We elect representative for how many years? Are we talking presidents or? Hmm. You're talking presidents or senate people? I think it's... Well, being that there's no four, I think it's senate people. And I think that's six. Wait, one sec. Uh, yeah, I think it's six. No. All right, select your answer. If the president can no longer serve, who becomes the president? That is the vice president. All right, why is the flag of 50 stars? It's because of the 50 states. One star for each state. Now view the results. Alright, what did I fail on? Well, Brad, it's checks and balances. I'm terrible. And then... We elect them for two years? I legitimately didn't know that. Alright, start a new quiz. You think I'm just one done? No, no. 80 is not a good enough grade. Start again. Name one U.S. territory. Hawaii, Florida, Alaska, or Puerto Rico. These are all territories of the U.S., but Puerto Rico is not a state, and I think that's what they're asking. I believe it's Puerto Rico. Yes. All right, what is the rule of law? Some states have more representatives than others in states. You practice any religion or not practice, no. Everyone must follow the law. All men must register for a selective service at the age of 18. I believe it's everyone must follow the law. Yes. Did I hear Puerto Rico? Yeah, I was listing off terror. It asked me what's a U.S. territory, and that listed Puerto Rico. So yeah, no worry. You guys, you guys are there in the territories. You still, you still with us? Don't worry. We got you guys. Stuff happens. We're gonna look after you. All right. What do we call the first ten amendments? I believe that's the Bill of Rights. Declaration? No, it's not De Declaration of Independence. Checks and balances? No. Federalist Papers? No. Bill of Rights. Ooh, beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, it is good, it is good. Who is the father of our country? Abe Lincoln, Roosevelt, Herbert Hoover, it's Washington. Yeah. All right. What is the economic system in the United States? Communism, slavery, market economy, or checks and balances? Wait, what? The market economy, right? Yeah. They're just the same one again. Whatever. Who is in charge of the executive branch? That's the president. Yes. What did Susan B. Anthony do? Ooh, I don't... Oof. What did Susan B. Anthony do? Uh, the United States during the Civil War, no. Fought for women's rights, the first president, freed the slave. Okay, this makes things easier. <laughs> Alright, this was, this was kind of a softball. I was, I was worried, actually. Alright, fought for women's rights. Yeah. I, I actually got tripped up. I didn't know that. I didn't know that one. I got saved by multiple choice. <laughs> okay, uh, what does a judicial branch do? Negotiates treaties, votes... Uh, vetoes bills, writes laws. Ooh, okay. 
not negotiate treaties, or I think they can, but I, I don't, that's not the main thing they do. Vetoes bills as the president, writes laws, very maybe, decides if a law goes against the constitution. No, that's the Supreme Court. They write laws. They do not. Okay. <laughs> what is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? Pursuit of happiness, provide school education, petition the government, you don't have to pay a, a poll tax to vote. Uh, I believe it's petition the government. Yeah. Alright, last one. What major event happened on... Oh, we already did this. Alright, what did we fail on? What did we fail on? Decides of laws against the Constitution. I thought that was the Supreme Court. Is that the judicial branch and I'm just dumb? Alright, whatever. 9 out of 10. Not good enough. It must be perfect. It must be perfect. What are we doing? What is Benjamin Franklin famous for? He fought for civil rights? Not really. President of the, during the Civil War? No. First of Louisiana? No. First Postmaster General of the United States. I thought it was famous for, like, lightning and stuff, but okay. Um, yeah, he, he did that. Nice. What is the highest court in the United States? That's the Supreme Court. That's why I was questioning the last thing. Are they just, are they the judicial branch? I thought that was like the... Uh, I thought that was the Senator Congress or something, because they're the ones making the laws. Are they the judicial branch? Executive, judicial... What's the last branch? Hmm. Not going to look it up, because that could be a question here. During the Cold War, what was the main concern of the United States? Slavery, terrorism, state rights or communism. It was communism. I thought it was going to be nuclear stuff, but you know what? I believe it's communism. All right. What group of people was taken to America and sold to slave? It was Africans. Why is that highlighted? No. Okay. Name one state that borders Canada. That borders Canada. Ooh, this is a question. Not Texas, not Arizona. Is it Louisiana? Or New Hampshire? Hmm. Hmm. I don't have my I don't have my mental map of the United States really, so oof, this is a this is a question. This could cost me the thing. This could cost me a perfect score. What do we do? What do we do? I'm gonna go on a limb. I'm gonna guess Louisiana. No. Alright, what is one responsibility that... Wait, what is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? Join a political party, join the military, serve on a jury, or write for the newspaper? Hmm. It's between serve on a jury or join in the military. Hmm. I think it's every guy can join the military. I don't know if it's every guy must serve on a jury. I think it's jury duty. Yes. There are four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them. Citizens under 25. Citizens 25, no. Anyone in the U.S. during the election can vote, no. Every citizen must vote in every federal election, no. Citizens 18 and older. Yes. Who was the father of our country? George Washington. What is the supreme law of the land? That is the Constitution, I believe. Bill of Rights is part of the Constitution. Articles of Confederation, no. Declaration of Defense, I believe it's the Constitution. Yes. Who was the president during World War I? Woodrow Wilson, George Washington, Franklin Roosevelt, Abe Lincoln. Woodrow Wilson, I believe. Yes. Starting to test, what did I fail on this one? It was New Hampshire, man. I 50 50 that. Alright, alright. Come on, come on. It must be perfect. This test must be perfect. Come on, here we go. What happened at the Constitutional Convention? Ooh, Constitution was written. Thomas Jefferson wrote Declaration of it. Ah, what happened here? What happened here? I don't know. <laughs> okay, Constitution was written. I don't think that's what happened at the Constitutional Convention. They were, like, discussing it, I think. I think they were busy discussing it. Uh, Benjamin Franklin became president? No. British tax colonies? No. Is it Declaration of Independence? I think it's Declaration of Independence. No, it was Constitution was written. I thought they were busy discussing it. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, 
Let's just restart. Let's restart. Let's restart. New test. I was going to lose that one. We already failed that one. All right. What did Martin Luther King Jr. do? I'm going to reset this. In case, we can get a, in case we can get a new test. What is this? I don't know. I don't know what that is. Remember Hamilton? Yeah, I thought they were discussing the Constitutional Convention. One sec. I do remember Hamilton. I could have sworn that that's what they think. They were busy discussing the Constitutional Convention and Hamilton was all like proposing his own form of government. That's what was going on. I do remember Hamilton. That's what got me thinking. Man was the writer, man. All right, fine. All right, select stuff. All right, new new quiz. In one of the two longest rivers in the United States. All right. The Rio Grande, Columbia River, Colorado River, the Missouri River. I believe it's the Missouri River. Yes. <laughs> he was also the guy, like, going to court for the new U.S. Constitution. He did the Federalist Papers. All right, whatever. When do we celebrate Independence Day? That's today, I believe. That's today. That's July 4th. Oh, my goodness. God bless America. What movement tried to end racial discrimination? That was the Civil Rights Movement. Yes. What is freedom of religion? You can practice any religion or not practice it's that one. It's that one. All right, what did Martin Luther King Jr. do? We already have this one. Uh, he fought for civil rights. When must all men agree register for service? That is age eight, between 18 and 26? Register for service, register for service. Uh, not, yeah, I think it is 18 to 26. Good, good. I assume it would have been like you have to like put yourself on the registry earlier than 18, but you know what? If it fits, it fits. Practicing, no, no, no. How many US senators are there? Ooh. It's 50, it's one per state, right? No, okay. If that's the case, then it's the, hmm. Then it's based on something else. All right, already we failed the test, whatever. We're continuing. We're already halfway in. Name one problem that led to the Civil War. Slavery. Why is the flag of 50 stars? Uh, because one star for each state. What is an amendment? It's a change to the Constitution. Glorious. How many state senators do we have? Oh, it's just two per state. Okay. Damn it. All right, go again. <laughs> Who is the commander in chief of the military? That's the president. Yes. When was the Constitution written? We already went over this. It was 1787. Beautiful. What is the rule of law? We already did rule of law. Everyone must follow the law. Who makes federal laws? That is Congress. Benjamin Franklin, we already had this one. He did the... Oh, the writer of the poor Richard. This is a new one, but this is the one that fits. The poor Richard's almanac. One important thing Abraham Lincoln did. Freed the Native Americans, made maps of the stuff, fought women's rights, freed the slaves, Emancipation Proclamation. Yes. Who vetoes bills? That is president. Yes. Who's president during World War One? We know. It's Woodrow Wilson. Love that guy. We got the same question again. We love this man. All right, what are two rights of every living, everyone living in the United States? Freedom of religion and the right to vote without poll taxes. Freedom of speech and the freedom to run for federal office. Right to bear arms and the right to serve on a jury. I believe it's this one. Freedom of speech and assembly. All Multiple of these seem to be right. Freedom of assembly and freedom of speech sound right? If, uh... Oh, wait, no, it's everyone living in the United States. That's not just citizens, so... I believe it's these two. I think it's these two. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay, that was... That was... Ooh, that was close. That was close, okay. What is the supreme law of the land? That is the Constitution. Yes. All right, we got it. Ooh. Ooh, we got it. We got it. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Oof. That is wonderful. We did get a few questions that were the same there, so one moment. 
We're gonna see if there's another test we can try. U.S. citizenship test. Hmm. What about this one? Alright, here we go. Here we go. Let's try this one. This is from new people. This is a civics question. Alright, let's see. What does the president's cabinet do? Let's see. Show the answer. Wait, what? Advises the president? Oh, so we're just guessing here. Okay, okay. Well, I didn't... I didn't guess, so I guess I got it wrong. All right, who wrote the Declaration of Independence? That's uh, James Madison, right? Not just not James Madison. Hmm. Who did write the Declaration of Independence? Not Hamilton. Not. I think it was Jefferson. I think it was Jefferson. No, not Jefferson. Ah. Who did write it? Who did write it? Ah. Mm. Was it Jefferson? I think it was Jefferson. All right, I'm betting on Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson. Okay, we we got it right. All right. How old did citizens have to be? Do they have to be? That's eighteen. Beautiful. I got that one right. What are cabinet level positions? Ooh, I do. What are two cabinet level positions? What does that mean, cabinet level? I don't know what cabinet level means. <laughs> uh, I don't know. What does cabinet level position mean? Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I do not know. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's these types of things. Okay. I got it wrong. Was one thing Benjamin Franklin's famous for? Uh, we're gonna say the... The Poor Richard's Almanac. That one. Where is it? Poor Richard's Almanac. Good. Got it right. Who? What did Susan B. Anthony do? She fought for women's rights. Yeah, there we go. Got it right. Name... The U.S. War between the North and the South. That's the Civil War. War between the states? All right, cool. I got it right. What territory did the United States buy from France? Ooh, what what did we buy from France? Hmm. Oh, what do we get from France? Hmm. I don't know. In 1803. Hmm. Give me, give me a second. I'm going to think. I'm going to think this through. We didn't get Alaska from them. Was it New York? Because then the Fran the French also did the... Wasn't it France who did the thing where they gave us the Statue of Liberty? I think it's New York. I'm a bet on New York. No, it was Louisiana. Alright, I got it wrong. What are two major political parties in the United States? That is Republican-Democrat. Yes. Got it right. Who was president during World War One? Woodrow Wilson. Why does everyone keep asking this? Why is this the thing everyone asks? Yes, I got it right. I'm gonna I'm gonna halt window capture for a second in case it tries to show something. Seven questions right out of ten. You pass the practices and test. All right, cool, cool. Okay, that is wonderful. Okay, you know what? I think that is where we call it for today. This is what we call for today because I uh, ooh yeah it's already six. I gotta go help the family with packing. Ooh. We're not really doing much for Fourth of July, but you know what? I gotta go help the family with packing because that's what we're doing today. Honestly, way more fun than I thought. It, it is. I am bummed that this has to be a short stream. But you know what? It's still a very fun time. Ari, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for the Doritos. Very wonderful. Thank you, Ari. Uh, Loki, thank you for stopping by. Wonderful to have you. The Puerto Rican stuff. So very wonderful. Thank you. And Zombie, always a pleasure to have you for the Civics. It is always a wonderful time. We should have been here for the lawyer stuff. We were we were busy moving around the law firm. Very important stuff, but you know what? Still a pleasure to have you. But yeah, that'll be it for today. Once again, another day with Civics that we couldn't fit in Broforce. It sucks. <laughs>
I, I really want to play the game, but we just don't... For one reason or another, something happens. One of the things was Fall Guys. Fall Guys was really fun, though. I really enjoyed it. But alright, I am going to go off and do that stuff. And that'll be it for today. Thank you guys for stopping by. Take care. I'm going to do that for a sec. Yeah, have an absolutely wonderful rest of your evening. But no, you didn't show up either earlier. No! Alright, I got I to gotta figure this out. I'm going to make a thing where the Discord itself can notify people. Like, Discord will just tell people that I go live. I gotta, I'll, I'll do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Apologies, zombie. Don't worry. Yeah, goodbye. Uh, can I raid someone? Can I raid someone? BBT isn't live. He, he's definitely with the family. BBT is definitely with the family. Yeah, no one. All right. All right, that'll be it for today. Go enjoy your holiday celebrations with the family. Enjoy the greatest nation on Earth. Have an absolutely wonderful rest of your time. Take care. And I will not be here tomorrow, but hope to see you on Thursday with the sports. Take care.